What's up everyone, I'm Daniel Rodriguez and I'm here to review the Atlanta series premiere which is season 1, episode 1 and 2, The Big Bang and Streets on Lock spoiler review. Make sure you have seen the episode, it should take me about 3 minutes to recap it, then I'll give you the pros, cons and final score. Thank you so much for joining me. Also, don't forget guys, if you enjoy this review, you can smack that like button. I will be reviewing Atlanta weekly on Tuesday nights or Wednesday mornings. As well, over the next three months, I will be reviewing over 43 TV shows. Atlanta is only number two on the list, so please make sure to check out the channel. I have a lot of content for you guys, WWE, movie reviews, trailer reactions, video game live streams, and of course, a lot of TV show reviews. Just did Narco Season 2. Check out the channel, guys. Feel free. So in the beginning of episode one titled The Big Bang, we have Ernie, played by Donald Glover, Childish Gambino, with Paperboy, who's his cousin, and they're talking in the car and everything, and this guy ends up smashing his, like, uh, mirror on the side of the car, and this big old argument starts, a big old fight, we don't know really why in the beginning, why this is happening, it just starts like that. Uh, Paperboy pulls out a gun, and long story short, he ends up shooting the guy. Now, we don't know where, but a shot occurred, uh, so after that... Uh, Ernie ends up waking up. It's kind of like, oh, what happened? And he ends up waking up in his bed next to his girlfriend and all that. And he's talking about a dream of seaweed, which was very detailed, by the way. He ended up making out with a girl that was in the dream. Also, you know, the, and he's kissing his girlfriend. They're talking about breath and everything. So, yeah, FX at you. Uh, that's an FX show there. So, anyway, they're at airport. You know, he's with his friend, and they work there at the airport. And there's this old woman getting business, and she's, like, thrusting the guy without the guy knowing, getting this vacation stuff or all that stuff at the airport. I guess they work there. And uh, his parents think, every time he comes around, his parents think that he's asking for money. Uh, that's not the case. So, now, Paperboy, his best friend or his manager, too, is named Darius, which he's not really all there, but he is a really fun character. Uh, he's not there for money as well when Ernie comes by. You know, Paperboy thinks, what are you here? You know, are you, you're trying to get some money from me or whatever? And he's like, no, man, I'm not doing that. So, anyway, Ernie gets a uh, Paperboy song on the radio. He ends up helping him out, and he's in the car, and that's how it all starts. That's That, that was the whole episode, because remember... Each episode is only about, you know, with, with com without commercials, it's like 23 minutes or whatever. It's like a regular sitcom show in a way, but it's on FX. And so that's how it all starts because Paperboy was actually making a thing at a girl. He was like, hey, baby, what's going on? All that, you know. And that happened. And then the guy kicked the guy's mirror, the rear view mirror and all that, or the mirror on the side. And that's what happened. And then he pulls out the gun and he shoots him. And how the series started, that's how episode one ended. And, um... Well, he's on a uh, bus drive. I don't know. This is still episode one, by the way. Excuse me for that. So there, he's on a bus drive, and Ernie's on the bus. Excuse me. I'm kind of stuttering here. He's on a bus, and this guy is making a sandwich, a peanut butter sandwich, and he's literally just random, random stuff. It works, but it's really weird because he's like, take a bite out of this sandwich. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know what's going on but it the cops like a sound of cops and the bus stops and the guy's gone he leaves his nutella there it's uh it's it's funny man so anyway that happens he's in jail of course uh oh the bus thing was before all that happened excuse me before the shooting that's why i was kind of mixed up there anyway they're in jail and in processing this is the start of episode two excuse me there we go so streets on lock uh they're in jail in the processing paper boy gets let go ernie is still waiting on the uh they're on the news afterwards of course big stuff paper boy and the shooting and all that he got shot you know paper boy didn't get shot but the other guy got shot paper boys had his place with darius uh, one of the last rappers, this guy ends up talking to him at the restaurant, he's talking to Paperboy, and he's like, you know what, you're one of the last rappers, and all that, and I, I'm kind of there, like, he was, like, making stuff to Big E, and all that, like, and I, I, I don't listen to rap, I, I know, I know who they're talking about, but I just, I don't listen to it, um, but, man, I was just like, um, I, he's one of the last rappers, I mean, his first song barely got on the radio and stuff, and all that, I mean, I guess I don't know how I, I don't know how long he's been a rapper. How long he's that was his first time on the radio. I assume so. I'm like wow, okay, that's that's really good to be known as one of the last rappers, man. Uh, but anyway, he gets like special joints and all that. And there's this crazy guy in jail, and I laughed during the scene, but then I really felt bad when I laughed because you know the the character was mental and he 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 was crazy. He's in jail and everything. He uh, he gets beat up. And the scream, the way the actor and the character screamed, it was horrifying. It was terrifying. It was really like, ha, ha, oh, shit, like, oh, 
yeah, like it was. It, I don't know whether to feel really ashamed about myself, but it was. I felt bad. Uh, so anyway, this guy is with Lisa. A guy's with Lisa, who is a shemel, uh, and he ends up like the guys are like, "You're a faggot, man." And he's like, "I know." And he looks at the the, the, the girl that the Lisa, the and he's all you know shemel and everything. And Donald Glover, poor Ernie's just in the middle of it all, and he's like, "I can move." No. I didn't tell you to get up, you know, it's just, it's, again, it's a random stuff, and that's what I love about the show so much, because honestly, I walked into the show thinking, all right, let's see how it is, it's going to be boring, it's going to be, but it's one of those shows, it's like Louie in a way, another FX show, where someone goes up to Louie, and they're like, you're so fat, and Louie's like, oh, okay, <laughs> like, just so randomly stuff, like, very negative energy in this show, man. Anyway, Paperboy meets this girl, he ends up taking some photos, got her digits and everything. There is this guy in this Batman mask, uh, enough said about the Batman mask, and then the girlfriend picks up Ernie, he gets out of jail. So, now on to the pros and cons. Now, I would be a liar if I said that I didn't laugh a lot during this premiere. My favorite joke out of the premiere is when Paperboy visits Ernie's dad, and Darius is with him, and Darius says to Ern's dad, he's like, can I measure your tree? And he's like, no, not right now. And Darius is so disappointed, and he's like, that basically means no, man. That got me. Now, all of the characters in here were really great. Even the side characters were written very well. The ones at the jail, the peanut butter guy. Even the way Atlanta is filmed is really well done. Definitely the dialogue so far has been really great. It knows how to balance between the serious scenarios and just plain funny. Like I said earlier, this show is very random, and I really do enjoy that because there's not that many shows out there that are as random as this and Louie. You know, before any new TV show begins, I think to myself, is it worth it? Why should I invest my time into your show? Is the characters going to be interesting, the setting? And of course, throughout the months, the promos for Atlanta has been the characters walking backwards and all that. You know how FX does those weird promos just like American Horror Story, The Americans. They, they always do promos that really are weird and... Uh, Fargo, definitely Fargo has some best promos that really mean nothing to the show at all. But the thing is, is I'm happy that I saw the Atlanta premiere. I'm a fan of Atlanta now. I really enjoy Donald Glover's work. I love the characters. I love the dialogue. I love the way it's filmed. Again, Atlanta is really good with their pacing with real life scenarios, serious problems, serious scenes, and then the random and funny scenes. I'm definitely interested in these characters' lives and I want to see where they go in the future. And again, the mental guy in the jail, uh, it, it terrified me. That whole scenario there just one second I'm laughing and <laughs> and then the next I'm just like oh oh you know for the premiere there really wasn't anything wrong with this show no points off the show for this but if I have to mention something of the cons the guy in the Batman mask which was so random and so funny yet he just runs away and I'm thinking to myself is he gonna get run over is he gonna when he's crossing the road he didn't look both ways is he gonna get run over or something like literally it was so random that's the best thing about it but yet it was like okay guy with the Batman mask that's and even the old Batman mask Christian Bale why not you update yourself and get like a Ben Affleck Batman mask or something like that but still it, it was it was if I had to choose, I'd probably pick that scene. Although, I wasn't a big fan of the ending where Ernie gets picked up by his girlfriend. It's cute. He has his daughter in the back and everything. She's obviously not going to remember her dad getting picked up from jail. But the thing is, that's how you end your premiere. Like, that's it. There you go. Wait till next week for a 30-minute episode. You know what I mean? Like, that's the way you end your premiere to leave us hanging, you know, to see. And it's understandable. I mean, that's the way they want to end the premiere, sure. But it's just, it was just like a little slow premiere. I mean, the slow ending to a premiere. Like, it was a great premiere. And then they ended with him just getting out of jail. And then... And he's in the car end but other than that I really have nothing bad to say about this show this is definitely a show I'm gonna recommend to a lot of my friends of course the one thing that's gonna suck for all of us even though the premiere was an hour long each episode is only gonna be 30 minutes long and 30 minutes goes by real quick I mean 10 episodes in season one the weeks are gonna feel just waiting a week to see it see really 23 minutes of footage is going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to fit in, you know, 23 minutes of story to do a week to week to week. But uh, I, I have faith. Donald Glover, he created this show. I mean, he's writing it. He's starring, I mean, producing all that. So congrats, man. Atlanta is very fun. I have to say, again, I wasn't really looking forward to the show. Like, I wasn't hating on the show. And I was like, what's going to be about, well, you know, oh, the rappers and stuff, really? Or there's this whole that, that there.
Empire. We already have Empire and rapping and all that. So this, for sure, uh, I'm very... If, I have a new funny comedy show to watch every single week, so I have to thank you, Donald Glover and FX, for bringing this show to all of us. So definitely awesome show. Now, the premiere was great, but if I had to pick which one was better, Episode 1 or Episode 2, for sure, Episode 2, all the gel scenes were gold. So I'm going to give the Atlanta series premiere an A-. Minus. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smack that like button. You can comment down below to me what you guys thought about the episode. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to hear your thoughts on it. You can share this review with your friends and hit that subscribe button for more awesome Atlanta reviews. Every time I uh, upload an Atlanta review, it should be Tuesday nights or Wednesday morning, depending on my schedule. So thanks again. You can join the Big D Nation by hitting that subscribe button. Again, over 43 shows I'm reviewing in the next three months. Thanks again. Check out the channel. I love you all. Hopefully you enjoyed the show as much as I did. Thanks. Till next time. Bye-bye.